What compels a person to create? For me, working through the entire process of wool growing, preparation and creation with the fiber is almost mystical. Good morning. There's a spirituality, a deep connection with what it is to be human and part of the natural world. I call it sheer bliss. Working with natural materials, I am more attuned now to the natural rhythms of the seasons. Lambing and shearing in spring, harvesting wool and dye stuffs in summer, preparing materials and imagining designs in autumn, spinning, knitting, and weaving in the winter. The seed of my dream to raise my own sheep, to do the whole process from scratch, sprouted maybe 15 years ago. Then, I had no idea there were hundreds of sheep breeds, but at a public shearing day, I fell in love with Jacobs, a heritage breed unaltered for thousands of years. <laughs> I think of the sheep as my partners. I take care of their needs for food and safety and attention. They, in turn, take care of the land and gift me their wool. My involvement with sheep and spinning has fostered a new relationship for me with both the land and the local community. I have come to see my fiber pursuits in a larger context as part of an agricultural community that values the partnership of farmers and consumers as well as environmental and cultural responsibility. Every decision made in the creation of natural textiles affects the soil and water, the plants and animals who produce the fiber, and our bodies. So I feed my sheep organic hay and pasture, wash the wool in our untreated well water, and hand process the wool through all the steps. I have an intimate knowledge of my medium, wool, as I've raised the sheep and I know exactly who I am working with I do not mix my wool, as they do in the commercial world, but work with individuals. Each skein of yarn is labeled with a picture of the actual sheep it came from. I'm not sure exactly how I came to find spinning essential to my well-being, but my respect for and awe of the unique properties of wool and of the craft of spinning was launched by a class 40 years ago, where I learned to spin on a hand spindle the ancient tool of spinning. There's a certain magic, fiber turning into yarn, yarn turning into fabric. Each tool used in the process of preparing wool for spinning or felting allows me to work intimately with the fiber so I will know how to use it. Some sheep have wool best used for felting, some for spinning a soft yarn, some for yarn that will make a sturdy rug or a beautiful tapestry. I celebrate the discovery of that first twisting of fiber into yarn every time I'm at my wheel. draw deep satisfaction from being a small part of a long and intriguing tradition of spinners. My personal fiber journey is inspired by the beauty of nature, 